Just so we don't cover only Antic cases, today we're going to talk about their new set of fans and these are Prism X ARGB uh, 3 plus C which means three 120 millimeter fans plus a controller and it comes in a nice box actually because it's compacted it, everything is inside you don't have to worry about anything about connectivity the cool thing about the fans they have a dual ring which really does look quite nice so you have one in the middle and one at the edges and it shines quite nicely now what's it all about with this we have three fans and a fan control box which basically doesn't matter uh, but uh, we have all these products inside of this box and it comes at a quite nice price but the specifications are what's more important now the fans are pwm so that's a great way to start because we can adjust the rpms through bios or through some sort of an application if you decide to do so and will give you a nice and quiet operation because fan speed rpms goes from 500 to 2000 rpms and the decibel range goes from 20 to 32.6 now you'll never use most likely 100 uh, percent of fan speed and that means uh, i think around 25 decibel uh, of uh, noise will be coming from your fans which is quite all right now we have hydraulic uh, bearing type uh, addressable rgb led type then we have airflow is depending on the rpms from 10 to 45.21 cfm air pressure is uh, from 0 0.3 to 2.56 millimeters uh, h2o and the uh, rating voltage is for the fan 12 volts for the leds 5 volts and the dimensions of the fans are 120 times 120 times 25 so this is the part where you can uh, manage and decide if the fans can actually fit inside your case or on the radiator or anything similar to that now right here we have the controller which is quite a nice accessory to the box even though the fans look outstanding but i do have to take a uh, a bit of a time out of this video to explain the controller so we have five led connections so five three pin addressable rgb five volts connections right here on this side on the other side we have another five pieces of connection for four pin pwm connection on the other side here we have sata power that you actually connect from your power supply and here at the back we have the pwm led and led control which means you can connect either of those uh, for the pwm and led you connect on the four pin header and then you can connect it to your motherboard and control it through your motherboard you don't have to uh, rely on this one but it's also a cool way as a hub in that case and we have led control which you if you connect right here you can only use for led control now uh, the actual controller has led speed option so the button for led speed and for mode this gives you a cool opportunity if you go with this package you don't have to worry about your motherboard supporting addressable rgb headers and i know that some of you might be considering doesn't everybody already have addressable rgb headers on their motherboard well unfortunately no because i do get loads of messages on youtube well basically comments on youtube and messages on instagram uh, asking how to connect their addressable rgb fans because they didn't know their motherboard actually doesn't have addressable rgb so this is one of the solutions because it's powered through sata power right here and you can control the leds right here so you can't use any software or for instance asus or sync msi mystic lights uh, asrock polychron sync or anything similar to that because it's not directly connected to your motherboard since it doesn't have a possibility to connect to your motherboard but for instance another cool thing about uh, the controller is the led control here at the back kind of acts um i don't know if you remember but on some anti cases you also have a uh, small controllers at the back which are naked and don't have a looking hub or body like this so you can use your a reset button connection that you usually place on the motherboard if you don't need a reset button then just plug it in here and you can convert your reset button into a led mode switch to change the colors on your fans which is I would say more handy than check removing the back panel of the case and accessing the actual controller at the back it's kind of more uh, convenient to use it like so so basically checking out the fans and inside the case they look quite outstanding even though at some points you can actually see individual leds 
but those individual LEDs can be barely seen. You really do need to, at some point to take a look at the fan and check out if the LEDs are seen. Of course, on the camera, it will be much different. You'll most likely either see individual LEDs like very, very strong, or you will see everything all together as a single color. Depends on the lighting, of course, because I do use salt boxes here while recording and stuff like that. So I would say if you can manage your fans through your BIOS and use them just like that, placing uh, a nice ratio between the fan speeds and the cooling possibilities just if you're using them as an outtake fans or an intake fans depending on the cooling capacity on the radiator if you decide to place them on the radiator you can actually make a nice cool looking fans into a silent operational fans that will do the job quite nicely and you won't definitely regret it because for this price and for this package that you get three fans and a controller that actually does all the work, well, basically helps you even connect more fans to it or even if you want to connect, I'm not quite sure, but I think you can daisy chain even a LED strip that's five volts and connect it right here. So all in all, I would say a quite nice package that Antec did. I think this is an upgrade from their old Prism fans, uh, just placing three 120 addressable RGB fans and a controller giving us a nice price per performance ratio in those terms I would say. So guys uh, placing the links below of course for the Prism X uh, 120 ARGB 3 plus C fans plus controller from Antec and you can check out the price and as always if you're new to the channel don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.